Hello and welcome to another Division 2 video. Yes, in this video I will show you my build I was using for the West Side League. The one where you can see here, where you have to do some speed runs. And yes, I did them all by myself and yes, I did them without the damage glitch for sure. I really don't understand people that has to do it with the glitch, but that's just my opinion. But anyway, I will show you the build I was using for this one to finish it. And I will upload three of the runs as well, so that you can see my strategy on the full run as well, on three of these missions. DCD, I think it's not the hardest one to reach level 10 or stage 10. If you take the shortcut in the first room when you go uh, underground, in the, what it's called, I don't know exactly, but then you can burn the enemy straight away, and then you save a lot of time. So if you do this, then it should be not too hard to do DCD, in my opinion. But these three, I have to admit, they were quite a challenge to achieve. Honestly, yeah, it was not that easy and I had to do it more than once, to be honest with you. You had to be lucky as well. As an example for Potomac, no Potomac Federal Emergency Bunker, the first part with the poison. I died quite a lot of times to the poison, to the knives, to these guys. I really don't like them. It hurts quite a lot. But yeah, as I said, in this video, I will show you my build I was using. And for sure, I tried as well to use a skill build. But to be honest with you, I was not that successful with it. It's, yeah, I can show it to you quickly. So it's pretty much the same uh, as I showed you already in my previous build video from my tactician build with two examples or two things that I changed. It's the backpack and the chest. And you can see already the backpack is an Alps. So repair skills doesn't make that much sense, but I used this because of the talent perfect tech support. So 25% skill damage, 27 seconds long it's quite a long time and yeah it's up pretty much all the time when you use it so you don't have to throw grenades to get the overcharge and the bonus for sure all together is not that high but you have a constant bonus that's the advantage of this backpack so this is really a good alternative as well if you don't have the extra one for the normal skill build i showed you already in my previous build and the chest piece i changed out as well in the build video you saw the one here unbreakable but here, because it's speedrun, you have to be faster, so I changed it up and I tried the talent skilled. Thanks a lot to one of my viewers who recommended this to me. And yeah, in the previous patch, it was actually not working that well. That's why I haven't this one in mind too good. And yeah, I tried it out. It works, but it's not uh, really reliable, to be honest. So it's not that reliable that you can um, count on it for speedruns. And yeah, I missed around one minute for each run, so I couldn't get any faster time than one minute above the, the rank 10. And that's why it's a pretty good setup as well. You can try it. Probably you have better roles than I have. As an example here, instead of repair skills, for sure, I would like to have skill haste to get the skills back a little faster as well. And otherwise, it's really exactly the same build, the same, pretty much the same guns. I changed one thing to the military MK17, but the same skills as well I was using here. And yeah, I tried it with this build, but to be honest, I'm with a skill build right now. They don't work all the time. It's the Seekers doesn't do damage all the time. And that's the disadvantage of this build as well. But it's a good setup as well. And you can reach, I would say, at least rank eight to nine with this skill build. If you want to give it a try, then this works really well too. And as you can see, 21 yellows, it would be a really, really good set. And I know one is wasted because of the, the technician. You could use actually the, uh, the demolitionist as well and the artillery turret. But yeah, you are not that flexible and moving and walking around with the artillery turret. That's why I don't like it too much. For sure, in a group setup, it's pretty decent. But for solo, I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest with you. So, but let's get straight into the build I was using for my speedruns. And yeah, for sure, if you want to see one of my other builds in detail, then just let me know. I have a really good one as well. Probably I'll do a video later. And a crowd control build, it's pretty decent for a group play. <clears throat> but as I said, in this build, I will talk about my speedrun build. And this is the one here. And yeah, it's a little bit a mix, as you can see. It's skill tier 3. And I have fairly decent amount of damage as well. So 14 red stats and 7 yellow stats. It's the build here in this setup. So let's start with the guns I was using for this one here. I got a pretty, pretty decent MK17 
pretty happy with this to be honest works quite good and i was searching so long for a mk17 with boomerang on it that's quite yeah hard i was not lucky enough to craft one you yes you can craft this as well and yes i would have a one uh, m1a as well and for sure this one would deal a lot more damage as you can see almost 200k more damage but as you can see, I have just 15 rounds in the magazine, just, and here I have 30. So I can spam the shots a lot more. And yeah, I just, I'm more happy with this one here. But try it out for yourself. Probably you like the M1A more and you have a longer reload as well on this gun. That's the disadvantage as well. And yeah, that's why I preferred the MK17. And if you haven't got one, then, then farm for the targeted loot. Or as I said, you can craft it as well. And for sure, I tried to have as much crit chance as possible, so I don't go over the mods in detail. You have just to have as much crit chance as possible. With the mask, for sure, you have to have around 50%, I would say, because sometimes, I, I think with the rifle, you fight most of the time 15 to 25 meters, and then you gain 10% crit hit chance. So don't forget about this. So do, you don't need more than 50%. And then you saw already the mask I was using, or I used on this one here. Coyote's mask is the one where you, uh, that you get on the season rank 35. So everyone gets this when you reach 35, the rank on the season progress. And then let's continue with the chess piece. The chess piece, I have one core attribute skill tier, then status effects, skill haste as well, and crit chance mod. And the talent is spotter. And yeah, for sure, status effect doesn't make any sense at all on this one here, but I wasn't lucky enough to get a better one. And I'm using this one here on my crowd, con crowd control build as well. Spotter for sure, it's pretty decent. First of all, it's, it amplifies total weapon damage. So there are two things you can see. It first of all amplifies, and the second one you sometimes see is the increased total weapon damage. So Amplify is stronger than Total Weapon Damage because Total Weapon Damage is additive and uh, Amplifies is multiplicative. So you have much more damage from this one here than from a Total Weapon Damage talent. And another advantage for sure is on this one here that it works for your skills and it works for your um, weapon as well. So increase the damage of both if they are pulsed. And that's the reason why I use Technician for sure so I can use the Underbarrel and I don't have to use the pulse as a second skill beside the shield. Let's continue with the, the holster. The holster I'm using here is Providence. To be honest with you, I would swap it out as well, so it's not that important to run a Providence here. 10% hatchet damage is not that much, to be honest with you, but it's pretty much the best I have right now. So I don't have that much better holsters, although I played quite a lot. But this is pretty much the best holster I got. So if you had the chance, as an example, I would rather prefer to have um, this one here. Either this one here, Group of Sombra, with 15% critted damage would work much better. Or the one here with critted chance. So Cheska Viroba would work as well. So I would rather prefer to have as a Providence, one of the other brands here. Or for sure, the talent or I use as a secondary as an SMG, then for sure this one here would be pretty good as well as Sokolov as a holster. But as you see, it still has some room for improvement. And then let's continue with the backpack. So it's the next one with a skill tier on it and then another Hana U corporation. And yeah, skill haste, skill damage is pretty important too for this setup. As you can see, I don't just rely on my gun. I try to use skills and seekers for sure as well. They deal a fairly good amount of damage too. So you can clear out the mobs quite fast as you can see in the gameplay. And then I have here a skill haste and skill damage as attributes and another critic chance mod with vigilance on it, the talent. Yeah, talent is really, really awesome if you play with a shield. Because if the NPCs or the enemy players shoot at your shield, then you, this, uh, you by yourself don't get damaged. So the Vigilance is still active. Just if you get damaged, then you have a 4 second cooldown on Vigilance. But otherwise, 25% it's pretty, pretty cool talent in my opinion. I like it quite a lot. Then the, the gloves I have here, the main reason not because I use an LMG. The main reason is the 11% damage to armor. I have core attribute, 15% weapon damage is pretty good, 
but I would for sure rather prefer to have crit chance or crit damage instead of weapon handling. This is the only thing I would swap out. If you don't have these named gloves, then for sure I would just use as an example um, Overlord, if you don't have another piece already, or you can use Grupa Sombra, or you can use Sokolov Steer, quite a lot of alternatives as well, or you could use this one here, Cheska Viroba, would be pretty good as well, as you can see, pretty much go roll the one here. And then the last part for sure, you have to run one piece Overlord for the 10% rifle damage. It's just too good to miss if you run mainly with a rifle. And this one here are the named ones as well. And the main reason, the 15% damage to target out of cover. Yeah, especially the heavies and most NPCs as well. If you shoot them, they're, they are out of cover. And otherwise the Seekers are pretty good as well to bring them out of cover. That's the main reason for the Seekers as well. <clears throat> so you deal damage, you see where the NPCs are, and you deal damage to them as well. Then I have skill damage on as an attribute tier 2. For sure, I would prefer here as well to have crit chance, either or crit damage. And if you don't have the knee pads here, then as I said, you can use the same alternatives as I talked already above. So as an example, Sokolov or Cheska Viroba, or you could use Providence, the second one, to have 10% crit chance. So you have a, quite a lot of flexibility, to be honest with you, with this build. But yeah, this is the setup I'm using or I used for my speedruns and for sure the shield, for sure the one here, the Crusader shield to use a rifle with it. And as you can see, it has 3,300,000 health. So it's quite tanky, I would say. I mean, you can get around 2 million max for your char. So it's much more tanky as you would invest everything into armor, but then for sure you would have nothing into damage or pretty much nothing. And I have a fairly decent amount of damage with my rifle and a fairly pretty tanky shield, I would say. So I tried it out without um, skill tiers as well, but then for me personally, I'm not wits and I'm not whatever. I don't miss, uh, I don't land just headshots. I need sometimes a couple shots more, and then the shield was just not tanky enough for me. So if you play in console, this might be the better alternative than the all red builds from other YouTubers you saw already, I guess. So I like this setup really, really a lot. Then the Seekers I use here, as you can see, 30% plus damage on tier 3 and 3 cluster mines. It's pretty much 30 seconds cooldown, it's not too bad, not too good. And damage 1.3 million. So it's pretty good, I would say, this setup. And the skills, as I said, or the Seeker, do a pretty good amount of damage. Then the main weapon, I talked already about it. Quickly to the stats. As you can see, it's uh, 274, 275 weapon damage, almost 50 crit chance, 65 crit damage, 11 damage to armor. These are pretty much the most important things to know for you. And then let's continue to my secondary. Come on. Pretty tricky sometimes if you use a different controller. And then as a secondary, I used Lady Death. It's uh, not the best, not the worst for what I would say, but mainly I used it for the increased moving speed. Yeah, if you get a kill with this gun, you have 20% movement speed for 10 seconds. Can be pretty important to gain a couple seconds for these missions. Sometimes you have to run quite a long time. And yeah, I handled it, as you can see in the gameplay as well. I tried always to kill the last alive NPC with the Lady Death to get the movement speed for a short amount of time, to be a little bit faster running. So that's the main reason why I was using Lady Death. And if you have it right now, then you can use pretty much every other gun you would like. This one here is really good as well. So it's an underrated gun, I would say. Three Dreams has an awesome talent. Melee attacks instantly kill non-elite enemies. Cooldown 15 seconds. Means every purple, every red bar, you can just melee once and they're death even on legendary difficulty. So this is a really, really awesome gun, I would say. And I would recommend it farming for it if you don't have it already. So if I wouldn't have Lady Death, I would run Three Dreams. If I wouldn't have Lady Death or Three Dreams, then I would, um, don't give a shit, to be honest, which one is the secondary, just use whatever you like. And mainly it's uh, if you run out of bullets, that's the main reason to have the second gun as well, if you don't want to benefit from the talent. And yeah, then for sure you don't have to use an LMG because the LMG doesn't work with the shield. 
but pretty much all every other gun you should be able to use so assault rifle smgs shotgun whatsoever and yeah then you're fine to go so this is it about the guns and the build i do really hope this was useful for some of you i wish you good luck farming for the times here they're quite challenging yeah i admit it to be honest with you if you don't use the glitch and i would not recommend to do it because i still hope they're gonna ban people or reset the jars or whatever they use the glitch but yeah that's just my opinion so this is already it for the video it got long enough already thanks a lot for watching do really appreciate every single one of you wish you a great day stay healthy stay safe see you in the next one take care and bye bye